pray to Satan, pray to Satan, pray to Satan. So about two weeks ago, I was on the Drunken Peasants podcast, and I had a really fun time. I was debating the vigilant Christian, and it's always a pleasure to make someone's belief systems look retarded and crazy. But there was a discussion about veganism on the show with TJ that didn't really get as fleshed out as I would have liked. So I'm just going to make a few final rebuttals to some of the statements and arguments that TJ made while we were talking about veganism on the show. And I'll link the full show down below just in case any of you want to watch it. There's a... There's this group of gorillas, tribe, I don't know what they're called, but um, one of the females ate uh, the baby of, of one of the other rival females in the, in the group, you know, basically because she wanted her offspring to prosper, not this other uh, ape's yeah, offspring. Yeah, an evolutionary advantage, basically. Right, so, you know, obviously that would be pretty evil if a human right. being did that, you know, if a human being went to, you know, their neighbor's house and ate their baby or something. So here me and TJ were talking about ethics and whether or not animals can commit acts of cruelty and whether or not they should be considered guilty for committing such acts. And whenever people bring this up in a discussion about veganism, it sounds like they're trying to come up with an excuse to eat meat and commit acts of violence and cruelty against animals by trying to say, well, they do it too, so it's okay for us to do it to them. This is really just a two quo qui fallacy. Just because someone else commits wrongdoings does not give you justification to commit those same wrongdoings. And TJ used a pretty extreme example of an ape killing another ape's baby to get his point across that animals can do pretty horrible things to other animals, but what should that have to do with how we treat animals. The animals that most of us choose to eat aren't even wild, they're bred in captivity for the purpose of slaughter, and don't even have an opportunity to harm you or each other, so the whole they do it too argument is irrelevant, not to mention these wild animals are just trying to do their best to survive in their own ecological niche, and as violent and horrible as some of their actions are, they're just trying to pass on their genes to continue the existence and development of their species. So why is it so hard for you to just leave animals alone? I'm not asking you to suck a cow's dick. I have a very simple request. Just don't engage in activities that cause the suffering and death of animals. I'm descended from creatures that ate meat. Um, we're not, uh... We're not herbivores. Okay, so here TJ argued that meat eating is justified due to the fact that our ancestors have been eating meat for quite some time, and he suggested that we have evolved to eat meat, and this argument really isn't based on any kind of science as we have made no physiological adaptations to eat meat, there are no essential nutrients found in meat that we cannot get from plant sources, and meat eating has been found to cause our most common chronic diseases, and even the American Dietetics Association has recognized this. When people bring up our species history in this context, it's really nothing more than an appeal to nature fallacy as it does not prove meat is required for our health and well-being, and they are using their ancestors' behavior to justify their own behavior. Just because your ancestors ate meat does not mean it is conducive to good health, and it does not mean it is ethically sound. The inception of our species, we started eating meat, so we are, by definition, omnivores. Um, behaviorally speaking, not physiologically well, but look, speaking. But physiological changes come later. Plenty of, there's been plenty of documented instances of species moving from not eating meat to eating meat, and yeah, at first they're not as suited but through evolutionary changes, they become more and more suited with each generation. That's how evolution works. TJ also said that if we continue eating meat, our species will eventually become better adapted to eating it, and the ill health effects that meat causes, such as heart disease, will eventually become non-existent. And I'm really disappointed in TJ for making such a poor argument, as I thought he would have understood evolutionary theory better than this. Evolution works by process of natural selection. Those who are less adapted and less capable of survival will die and not have an opportunity to pass on their genes, whereas those who are more well adapted will live longer into breeding age and will have more opportunities to pass on their genes. This process just wouldn't occur within our own species with regards to meat eating as eating meat is not a strong enough selective pressure to kill us off before breeding age, not to mention modern medicine is letting us live much longer even though we are eating much poorer diets that are killing us. Even if we could over time adapt to properly process meat without any ill health effects, that would take millions of years and during that time billions of people would suffer 
suffer horrible chronic diseases and die prematurely, and what would that accomplish? Does that sound worth it to kill and eat animals to one day not get sick from eating them millions of years in the future? Not to mention there might not even be a future if we continue to eat meat as animal agriculture is one of the leading causes of climate change. Again, all it seems you're capable of doing is coming up with weak ass excuses and nonsense arguments to try and excuse completely unjustifiable acts and I really do expect better from you. So those are my more in-depth responses to TJ that I didn't really get a chance to make on the drunken peasants and I really do hope TJ sees this and starts making a meaningful change towards veganism. And if he doesn't, then I'm going to have to slit his throat ear to ear. Beef. What a relief. When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how. 